<laughs> hey there, home buyers. This is Amir Sai with your Mortgage Minute. So today we're going to talk about the three different types of financing that's available. Essentially, they fall into three different categories, conventional, government, and portfolio loans. The key is to determine which box is perfect for you. And how you do that is you want to determine your credit score, your ability of uh, down payment amount, uh, and essentially what you can afford. So with conventional, otherwise known as conforming loans, uh, to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, 3% down as of um, uh, 2015 is the minimum down payment you need. Typically 5% or more gets you a better interest rate and anything below 20% down is P has PMI, private mortgage insurance, right? Um, uh, a credit score has to be at least, in my opinion, about 660, 680 or above to get really good access to interest rates. Um, as far as uh, qualification, have to verify income, have to be at what's called debt to income ratios of about 28 to 36. Any great financial planner will say, keep your uh, housing expense ratio between 20 and 25%. So what that means is you take your monthly outgoing gross income, uh, you find out what your outgoing new mortgage payment is going to be. You take that mortgage payment divided by your monthly gross income. That's your debt to income ratio. You want to be right around 25 to 28 uh, percent when, it, when it's regarding that. OK, next up is uh, government loans. There is FHA, Federal Housing Administration. There's the VA, Veterans Administration. And then you have the USDA, basically farmland. Then you have uh, HECM, Home Equity Conversion Mortgages, which is reverse mortgages for senior citizens. Those are all under the government umbrella. Veterans, no money down. The, a, a great product out there for anybody that's honorably discharged from war. Secondly, you have uh, FHA, Federal Housing Administration, 3.5% down. Um, credit scores for, for all these options typically are 600 above, typically. Uh, any reverse mortgages, the HECM, senior citizens uh, above a certain age limit, um, there is no credit requirements. It's just based on the actual home, okay? Uh, those are really, really good for people that have a little more challenged credit. Uh, and may not have the, uh, a big down payment, uh, it might make sense to go that route. Now, if you're using a government loan to go after a condominium or any association controlled property, you might have a lot less inventory to choose from because those properties have to be FHA or VA approved, okay? Last option is if you can't find the conventional conforming or government, you have portfolio. Those are typically jumbo mortgages, loans that are above the loan limit that Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the FHA, the VA can lend on. Here in Cook County in Illinois, anything about $417,000 generally um, is above the conforming loan limit. So those loans, bigger down payment, higher credit score, usually five to 10% down payment, at least a 700 credit score or higher, typically. So that's how you kind of determine where you're at. Of course, there's a lot more meats and potatoes involved in there, but you have a really good option kind of generally where you need to be as far as financing. Of course, call me and as always, and I'll be able to answer your questions, okay? Thank you so much, talk to you soon.